are you today? I hope you are just fine. Welcome back to Computer Class. Today we will learn about Microsoft Word 2007. You have already studied about some of the features of Microsoft Word 2007 and the different formatting tips. Microsoft Word 2007 also provides certain features that make your work easy and well structured. You can add page number, headers, and footers. Headers and footers A header or footer is text or graphics such as a page number, the date or a company logo that is usually printed at the top or bottom margin of each page in the document. They give identification to a page while assessing the document. A header is the text that appears at the top margin of every page while footer is the text that appears at the bottom margin of every page. How to insert header and footer Follow these steps to insert a header and a footer in Microsoft Word 2000 document. Click on Insert tab, Header and Footer group. Click on the header drop-down list and select the style of your choice. The header area is displayed as a dot line. The cursor appears in the header region. A new tab design will open when the cursor is in the header area. You can enter the desired text in header area. You can also change the alignment and the position of the header. Click on the footer drop down list in the insert tab to insert a footer. Now the cursor will blink in the footer area of the document. Select a style from the page number drop down in the header and footer group of the insert tab to insert page number in the document. Click on close header and footer option in the close group of the design tab. Footnotes and endnotes. Footnotes and endnotes in Microsoft Word are used for adding notes, comments, or to provide references for text in a document. In general, footnotes are detailed comments and printed at the bottom of a page to give extra information about something that has been written on the page. On the other hand, the endnotes are for citation of sources and are given at the end of the document. A footnote or an endnote has two parts, the note reference and the correspondence note text. The note reference can be a number or some characters referring to a specific location in the main text. These notes are separated from the main text by a separator line. Inserting a footnote or an endnote. A few steps are followed to insert a footnote or an endnote. In your Microsoft Word 2007 document, click on the position where you want a reference for notes to be added. Click on References tab, Footnotes group, Insert Footnote option, a footnote will be added. Click on the Footnote and EndNote dialog box launcher in the Footnotes group of the Insert tab to open the Footnote and EndNote dialog box. To create a footnote, click on the footnotes option and for the endnote, click on the endnotes option in the location section. It can even be formatted. You can select the location of footnotes and endnotes from the respective drop-down list in the location section. You can also format the numbering and choose to apply the change to the whole document or a particular part of it using the options in format and apply change sections respectively now click on insert a note reference appears at the positions where you click on the document you can now add the note text and then scroll to the next position in the document where you want to insert a footnote or an endnote Drop cap. 
Drop cap is a feature provided by Microsoft Word in which the first character of the paragraph is bigger and drop on the subsequent lines of the paragraph to mark the beginning of the paragraph as used here. You can use this feature while writing stories. Follow these steps to use drop cap features of Microsoft Word 2007. 1. In the Microsoft Word 2000 document, click on the position where you want to add the drop cap feature. 2. Click on Insert tab, Text Group, Drop Cap drop down list. 3. Select the drop option from the drop down list. 4. Click on Drop Cap Options from the drop down list. The drop cap dialog box opens. 5. Select the desired font of the drop letter from the font drop down list in the options section. 6. Select the desired option from the lines to drop list. 7. Increase the distance between the text and the drop letter with the help of distance from text list. 8. Click on OK. Your exercise for today is to practice to type this paragraph and then apply the drop cap at this paragraph. Okay students, that's all the topic for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and don't forget to do your exercise for today. See you next week. Bye-bye.